Legal barriers stand in the way of ZANU PF supporters' attempts to prevent Xavier Kasukawe from running for president. The exiled minister claims the actions are tricks meant to sabotage his candidacy. Lovedale Mengwana petitioned the High Court last week to declare Kasukawe disqualified as a result of his exile. But Judge David Mengota ruled that the court was the wrong one. And the case was dismissed. Unfazed, George Masters brought a comparable petition to the Electoral Court claiming Kasukawe's five years spent outside of Zimbabwe resulted in the loss of his citizenship and disqualification. Kasukawe's attorney, however, claimed that they have not received court documents. Before to appearing in court, the former minister briefly traveled back to Zimbabwe. According to his attorney, all allegations against him were dismissed, clearing his identity. The legal challenges are frivolous, according to the spokeswoman for Kasukawe, and meant to damper our spirits. According to legal experts, Kasukawe has a decent probability of winning the legal battles. They point out that the nomination court approved him as a candidate in accordance with electoral laws. Only if the court ruled that his nomination was unlawful could his name be removed from the ballot. The electoral court will now decide Kasukawe's future, according to constitutional attorney Welshman Q. Attorney Dumaseni Dubey, though, is confident Kasukawe will prevail and run for president. If rejected, he might still file an appeal with the Constitutional Court. The legal actions against Kasukawe demonstrate the ruling party's eagerness to thwart Ngobwa's challenges before elections. Nonetheless, experts claim that the exiled minister still has a good chance of being included on the vote. The verdict of the Electoral Court will be crucial. Let it go.